Yeah, I hate what you're doing. I hate you're getting giving these guys attention. I hate that you're getting attention from these guys. Damn. So Be smart. After everything I did for him, and I actually like I was a point when I had Bryce Hall, I have fucking uh what's his name? Josh Richards. I have all of the like big influencers testing me and I ignored it because of him. I feel like at the end of the day, it's controlling. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to be with that girl because she's getting all this attention because she's a baddie because she's this, then don't be with her. Go, Queen. He's ungrateful. She, How, he dare <laughs> How dare him? How dare But <laughs> All these guys in your DMs. But would you admit, though, he had a concern because, I mean, these are pretty, pretty big names hitting you up. Pretty yeah. big names. Yeah, and I was like, hey, how are you? I wouldn't be like, okay, block you. Like, no. I was like, hey, how are you? Yeah, but I never call him cute. I never call him, I want to do this with you. Or, But can you understand his frust- frustration? Because, I mean, you're getting damned by these guys and you're responding. It's like, whoa, what's going on here? Can you understand yeah, his he's like, he, Yeah, he had insecurity because I'm this and he's not. Um getting texts by other guys and he's not but getting you all that attention. Yeah, was, of course. Yeah, I, so they For had business. access yeah. to you. So, so hold on. Your man is like, damn, my girl's famous. She's lit. I'm responding to these guys. Do you know how he feels about that? Like deep yeah. down. So yeah. you understand it. Because if my, yeah, if my boyfriend has the same attention from other girls, I will feel some type of way. So then you can understand why he was feeling that way. But leaving me over that after everything I did. Yes, it's a major concern. That's... Could you like comfort him? Throughout the insecurities, I think that's cheating. I, I feel I, like also like, you replying. Meet, you could meet somewhere yeah, cheating, for sure. You could meet somewhere in the middle. You feel me? Like I feel like cool. Okay, he doesn't like that you were there. You know, replying to these messages, but now help him understand what you have going on and give him some sense of trust. You know, because a, a man. Okay, you're. I'm I'm young too, but you're younger, and I don't know you know, if you're still living with mom and dad, if you have your own place or how far you got with that man. But when a man is providing for you and when you live under a man's mm-hmm. roof, he has some sense of control when he's providing for you. I she you was the provider. Head. Yeah, I was a provider. Okay, see, you're the main provider. That's a little different. And, that, and that's how she paid When we were young, we were stupid in love. Mm-hmm. So that's what happened yeah. with me. I was stupid in love. I realized I was controlling that toxicness. That's controlling because why you don't want to be with someone who has this and that and yeah. you're just like insecure about it. That's Let me ask you a question. So like he told you, he was honest with you and he told you what he did, liked and didn't like. Yeah, at the start of the relationship, yeah. Okay, and you said that he's insecure. No, I start, I say that now because after everything I did. Okay, was, you think he was insecure. insecure. Let me ask you a question. Who's more secure? Someone who tells you the truth and doesn't care what happens or someone who doesn't say anything to you because they're scared of what could happen. The first option. Someone who tells you the truth. So I would argue your boyfriend was very secure. He told you the truth and didn't care about the consequences. He told me the truth because he wanted me to like stop. But that means he's secure. Yeah. He's insecure because he's... By your own definition. Well, if you want to say it like that. You see what I did there? Because women love to say men are insecure when they put boundaries on women. But what I'm sa- I argue that when a man puts a boundary on you, he's very secure because he's telling you what he really likes and doesn't like at the cost of possibly losing you. He's actually insecure if he doesn't say anything because he's not secure where the relationship is and he's scared to lose you. It's well, right. Damn, um, you, you have a point, smart. but it's also insecure <laughs> that he won't like, let you wear whatever you want, that he won't let you go out with your friends, that he's like, scared of you like cheating. Also, you know I what like, I mean? I feel like Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you like watches or what do you what do you like cars? What do you like? Cars. You like cars? Okay. Let's say you save up a bunch of money and you buy a brand new Mercedes, what, G-Wagon? G-Wagon. G-Wagon? <coughs> All right, G-Wagon. you buy a G-Wagon, right? You spend $250,000 on it, right? You buy it. Yo, this is lit. You get it with zero mileage, you're like, "Yes, this is awesome." And then you go home. Three weeks later, right, dude knocks on your door, the guy that sold you the car. He says, hey, listen, bro, uh, I need you to put a for sale sign on your car and drive around with it for like a month or two, okay? How'd that make you feel? <laughs> Bad. Why? I'll cry. Why? Because I just bought it and I wasn't like driving it for that. And long. you worked really hard to get it, right? Yes. That's exactly how men feel about their girl showing their body all over the internet. Dang. Mm-hmm. Okay, it makes sense. but like. Hold on, stop it right there. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. This is why men protect what they get and what they invest in. No guy right, wants to be with a girl that has a for sale sign on her neck. And unfortunately, women don't advertise the same way men do. 
Girls advertise by putting pictures up and making themselves look available. Men advertise by actually going up to the girl and letting him know he is available. So you see how it's different here? So I would argue that your boyfriend, number one, was very secure because he told you the truth. And then number two, when you advertise yourself a certain way, put a for sale sign on your neck, which unfortunately is what social media is, then sometimes you got to deal with the consequences. No guy wants to pay full price for a car with a for sale sign on it. And because of your profession, you have to be extra, I want to say, explaining to your boyfriend. Because once again, you understand your career, he doesn't. You have to be like, you know what, babe? Here's what, why I'm responding. Look at this with me. Because if you don't do that, it's like, she damning on her own? What's going on? He doesn't know. Now, I'll give you one excuse here. You took care of him and you paid all the bills. That's what she said. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. I, can, I can see where that comes from, which is why we actually tell guys on this podcast, you need to make more money than your girl. Have to. Like, you have to be, you know, if you're going to have boundaries and, you know, control her sexuality like that. To be a degree, the leader. You need to be the fucking leader. Yeah. So his problem is that he didn't have the leadership skills. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, women need to understand that when you advertise yourself a certain way on the Internet, or put out a certain image, a guy that's with you is going to lose respect for you and he's going to want you to change. So, I mean, it's up to girls how they want to move with that. But social media, right, to a degree, can be construed as cheating. To yeah, men, absolutely. At least. Yeah, I especially agree. Especially when you respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And especially if he didn't know, like, you were responding. He I feel my like Instagram, that my Snapchat, my Gmail. Oh, he did? Oh, so he was, he like, did. looking at them. He, he was, and he would block them, too. And I would get mad about it because he did it without my concern. Yeah, I get that, too. Okay, hold on. That's different. If you had oh, all your okay. Access. I thought it was, yeah, it I was thought a controlling we relationship. Yeah, but bro, so they're probably I'm... trying to set shit up to like, yo, let's link yeah. and all this other shit. No, no, no I feel like, like to add on. Come to this photo shoot. Yeah, come here. To add I mean, on to something that you had said, right? Mm. Okay, cool. You said if it were the if the roles if the roles were reversed, right? You wouldn't like it. So when you're in a relationship with somebody, the same way I have things that I don't like, he's going to have things that he doesn't like. And you're both entitled to walk away whenever you want, no matter who's financially providing. You, you know? know what you're not entitled to do? Change yourself when you get into a relationship. Oh. If she was the, if I'm she not was telling her to change herself, she, she, she I'm right. telling her to walk away. No. I'm telling her to walk away if it's something that Don't she doesn't like. Advice. The same way he walked away. Oh, you <laughs> should change when you go into a relationship. As far as like no. profession, right. you don't. Going. If she was working as an OnlyFans model before her relationship and he got with her knowing that she was the OnlyFans model, how dare he tell her to stop that once he fall in love? How dare? Well, how, how dare, dare you? How dare you save up quarter million dollars by the G wagon? Bring it to your house think that it's yours then the salesman tell you, you got to put a for sale sign on it how dare he got with her when he knew she was doing only fans what did i just say a second ago with the mercedes he knew you're talking about earning it right with the mercedes yes he okay knew. but she's <laughs> saying like if someone started off doing only fans and then a guy came in and wanted her to stop doing only fans we know what I'm remember saying? when i said privilege was invisible to those that have it how many times do you hit on guys I've hit on guys before. Really? I'm a I mean, I don't it. count them. How but... many times have you hit on a guy versus guys hitting on you? It's a different ratio. Oh, what is it? Maybe one to a hundred? <laughs> okay, if it is a hundred. Stop. Maybe one to a hundred? What is the ratio? Uh, I, I don't know. Sure. One to a hundred. Okay. So you might hit on one guy for every 100 guys that hit on you, right? Why'd you decline all those guys? Not interested. Oh. So would it be fair to say that they didn't measure up to your standards? Maybe they didn't look good enough. Maybe they didn't make enough money. They didn't have confidence, ambition, competence. Um, or I wasn't interested, but yeah, that, okay. I guess. So you do realize Depending. that by a man attracting a woman in the first place, he had to put in work. Mm -hmm. So no. you tried to gloss over that is the point. No, what I'm saying is that if they started off doing only fan, you're, you're talking about this car, this prize, and then they get it taken away. Like I'm saying, and you don't like the fact that the car is being shown or whatever. What'd you yes. say? You, okay. you saved up your money, which mm -hmm. is a man building his value. Mm -hmm. Getting a vehicle, purchasing the vehicle. Okay, I don't. I don't want to. I get it. Ooh, like we're not cars, but I'm using the analogy to illustrate how men feel about the topic. Men have to make their money, increase their value, right? Buy the car, and it's disrespectful to you as the man purchasing the vehicle for the seller to come and tell you, "Oh, we're going to put a for sale sign on it after you spent all your money and time but to purchase it." We were it. talking about already having the for sale sign exactly, on it. and then you purchase it, so the for sale sign is supposed to come off. Mm. Oh, that's what guys go for is to get a girl with OnlyFans and then take the sign off. Like, well, I mean, you're long, to get no them to longer, stop doing what they're doing. You're no longer on the market, right? You have a man now. No, being sexy is Hold your profession, on. baby. Okay, I, I get that. But here's the thing like, a big part of what men want in a woman 
is purity and not embarrassing them. Men don't ask for much from women. Would you get with a sexual model? No. So as a main girl, never. But no. for the men who do get with a sexual model, most guys don't want that, which is why anytime a guy gets with a dancer or a stripper, or OnlyFans girl, whatever, that tough conversation always comes. I want you to quit. 